Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Clayton Chapman, and I am a huge fan of One Pot Meals. I also love risotto. What I love about risotto is the style in which you cook the rice. I love to cook all sorts of grains in risotto style, meaning it's almost like this pan braise where you're toasting your grains and whatever saute of vegetables that you have, and then you're slowly adding stock or water or broth of some sort. The grain, whatever it happens to be, slowly absorbs absorbs the stock and gets saturated and gets plump and full and delicious. So risotto to me is a style of cooking. Classic risotto is made with what's called an orborio rice. Like a medium grain rice, it's incredibly starchy. And so the idea behind the risotto is as you're cooking, you're really developing this starch in the rice and the starch translates over to your sauce. By no means is there one size shoe fits all, but this is my favorite way to do it. And it can be to the table in about 45 minutes. So I have my arborio rice, a little bit of homemade butter, white wine. I'll finish with a little shaved cheese. This is a cow's milk cheese from Wisconsin. It's called Pleasant Ridge Reserve. A little bit of hearty herbs, thyme and rosemary. One of my kitchen staples, roasted garlic. I have minced shallot and small dice leek. A little bit more subtle than adding like a yellow onion or a red onion. Two different types of mushrooms. So I have a humble button mushroom and I have a shiitake mushroom. I'll finish with a little lemon zest. A little fresh chopped parsley, fresh whipping cream to start. Preheated enameled cast iron. In goes my butter and my shallots, and my leeks. I'm on medium heat. What I really want to do is I want to soften the shallots and the leeks. The butter is a perfect fat to saute these in because it has a relatively low smoke point. It also has water. It leaches out as they saute, so they soften as they kind of caramelize. When I cook with these hearty herbs like thyme and rosemary, I simply like to leave them whole on their stalk or on their stem. It also activates best when sauteed in fat. Leek shallots soften, slightly caramelized, starting to brown. I go in with my mushrooms. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna put some color on them. I like to salt my mushrooms as they go in, pulls out some of that moisture, allows them to brown, become delicious. So I just wanna show these mushrooms as they've been like sauteing in this foaming butter. They really take on this amazing color to them. So they're completely crispy on the outside, but still this soft molten interior and goes roasted garlic. I like to have my garlic at this point because I still want it to saute slightly and kind of emulsify into all my vegetables. The smell is incredible. All right, at this point I like to go in with my rice and this rice is going to immediately start to absorb all of your fat in the pan. So I think it's pretty important to maintain a pretty constant stir. But I like to toast my rice a bit adds great depth, kind of richness and body to the risotto. I feel that you can really do this with almost any grain, whether you're toasting like a basmati rice or a wild rice or a brown rice or a couscous. All right, my rice is toasted. It's starting to just slightly stick to the bottom of the pan. You can see even though I don't have any meat in here, I'm developing this little fond on the bottom from the caramelization of the mushrooms, which is just amazing. White wine goes in. I'm going to pull all that up, give a stir. So then traditional risotto recipes, this is just about kind of stirring almost constantly. We're going to release those natural starches in the rice. I'm reducing my wine until it becomes what's called like au sec, almost dry. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my first batch of stock. Now you can use vegetable stock, you can use chicken stock, you can use water, you call it pipe stock if you don't have access to an actual stock. So stock goes in, just enough to cover, another stir. We'll do that again. So this entire process should take about like 40 minutes, give or take, depending on your heat. My risotto has this like deep, rich color to it. My rice has really changed texture. What I'm looking for is as I squish it together with my hands, I want it to be almost like al dente like pasta. I still have like a little graininess or like rawness. Maybe it has about five more minutes. The heat's off. My rice has this great creaminess to it. Completely cooked all the way through. Go in, healthy pinch of salt, pepper, lemon zest. 
And then I like to add the cheese in two stages. I like to add a little micro planed in so that it really melts into the sauce. Lemon juice. Fresh chopped parsley. You know, there's a lot of like speculation and heritage out there that say that you should need to add heavy cream to risotto because there's enough creaminess in the rice. And if you stir the rice enough as you cook it, and you cook it right, that it doesn't call for cream. And in a lot of ways, I agree with that. But what ends up happening when I add the whipped cream to the risotto is that because the cream was whipped so far and it's going into this, it like almost immediately breaks. And so it creates this like rich, deep, dark, like roastiness sauce from the mushrooms. But then you also have this like really light, creamy, delicate sauce that kind of floats on top. I stir halfway to combine. You can see the sauce just kind of ooze out, run all over. So then this becomes a dish in and of itself with a great foundation for a piece of braised meat, roasted chicken, grilled fish, a little finishing salt, a little parsley, some fresh shaves of our Pleasant Ridge cheese here. Let's give her a taste. I think it is delicious. It has really kind of everything I'm looking for. It has great body and depth. It has the creaminess from that whipped cream that kind of floats on top, the acidity from the brightness from the lemon. I hope that it becomes a favorite in your kitchen as it has in mine. Tune in for some more great content coming your way soon. Thanks guys and take care. Thanks for tuning in today. If you're enjoying our series, please feel free to hit subscribe below so you can be the first in the loop as we release new content. I'm out of gas!